That's the most spectacular 718 I've ever seen. The new 718 came in GD4 RS. What a thing of beauty. Absolutely. A mid-engine powered real action hero. Everything done for, the, for a driver's car, and that will de it's designed to really put a big smile on your face. And regardless if you go on country roads on a Sunday morning or a racetrack. Yeah, well, I know it's not easy to get the RS badge. Run me through some of the key performance items on the chassis side of the new car. Happily, where do you want to start? Handling and precision. Well, yeah, I like corners. You know, uh, uh, <laughs> that's pretty what I emotional. Expected. Yeah. Well, handling and precision is extremely important for these RS batched uh, cars. So we lower the center of gravity by another 30 mil with our Porsche Active Suspension Management, and the car got a special setup: springs, dampers, roll bars, and also the bearings. So the typical RS components we put in, and uh, that gives you really very, very good control over the car. I know some of that stuff's on uh, our GT race cars. We know at Porsche, we really pride ourselves on the transfer technology. The winning on Sunday does go really into the street cars on, on Monday, so that's still alive, right? The transfer technology is well and truly alive for us. Yeah, absolutely. You know how it goes. And, and this is why we also need guys like you that really guinea pick all the ideas from the engineers and, and then to make a, a proper selection of what is really useful, what we can bring um, and what will survive from the racetrack to the streetcar, and then we bring it in production. I think every customer, every driver can feel exactly this. Well, thanks, Frank. That's the, the chassis side done. Now let's have a chat about the soul of the car. Let's talk about the engine. What have we done there? Yeah, now we can reveal the secret. First of all, pure race engine. This is the GT3 engine, the same one we are using in the 911 GT3 Cup and the street legal 911 GT3. Not a detuned engine, it's the bespoke four liter, six cylinder beast, I would say. We worked for sure on the engine management and to bring the air in the engine and everything. The airflow as a result has to go through the cabin. And this makes and creates something very, very special. Sounds phenomenal. Uh, give me some numbers. What sort of power are we talking? Yeah, 500 horses. That makes the GT4 RS the most powerful 718 we have ever built. Well, Frank, it's uh, connected to the seven-speed PDK, right? Yeah, every GT car with an RS badge comes with PDK only. That's our best and quickest gearbox. We have to handle 450 Newton meters, and it's revving up to 9,000 RPM. Phenomenal. So, what does that do for our, you know, zero to 100? And our, uh, what does she, what does she top out at? Well, the, the big figures are zero to 100 is 3.4 seconds, and the top speed is 315 kilometers per hour. So, well, pretty impressive, I would say. Super impressive, yeah. Do you want to know what else is impressive? What else we got, mate? I mean, we're running out of tricks, aren't we? <laughs> Listen on this. Hallelujah. Holy cow, mate. That's a roar that sounds absolutely magnificent. We take weight very seriously at Porsche. Uh, what does she weigh in it? Yeah, you're definitely right. Weight management is, is definitely a science for itself. And um, we have been able to put and replace some of the already light parts of the GT4. Um, to even lighter parts with different technology. And so we come down to a weight of 1,415 kilograms. Phenomenal. That's a cracking effort, I must say. Uh, so materials, what have we used? Uh, what's been our go-to material to try and shave some of those key uh, pounds off? Well, racing technology means in many, many times um, it's carbon fiber technology. And for the front uh, hood and for the front fender and also for the massive rear wing, um, we are using carbon fiber, um, very, very light, very stiff. Lightweight glassing in the in the rear of the car, um, exhaust system with a with a lightweight steel um, design, and if you opt for the Weissach package, you can also have magnesium wheels. We have also gone to stickers, you know, yeah, to save even sure. a few more grams. For sure. In, in the end of the day, everything adds up. So Frank, basically, what you're telling us is the GD4 RS is a street legal race car, and the uh, opportunity to have these beautiful swan neck rear wing mounts, uh, the the knacker ducks. I mean, when you drive this car quickly, we've got awesome brake cooling, which is from our GT friends from the racetrack, right? Yeah, exactly. And like in motorsports, all these elements are purely functional. It's not a show or to, to show something. It's, it's all about functionality and increasing the aerodynamics. Numbers, aero numbers. Tell us about how we've made this car such a... the grip in the corners, but then the efficiencies on the straight. Yeah, well, with this RS-specific rear wing, we have the splitter for sure in front to keep the car in balance. Um, the underfloor aerodynamics that pays a lot um, in it. And so we could increase the total level of downforce if you're using the car on a closed racetrack 
by 25%. Extraordinary. Porsche never shies away from a big challenge, and we go to the toughest venues in the world. Uh, Nürburgring, the Nordschleife, we love to test the components there and the cars. What lap time are we talking? For sure, the Nürburgring. And